Hello folks, I'm Andrew and in this video I'm going to be riding another Audax. An Audax is a long distance cycle event that you can either ride as an individual or in a group and luckily for me I'm going to be out with a group of friends and mates of mine from the Iceni Velo Club here in Norwich. Now the Audax is called the Norfolk Special and it's 200 kilometers, although the actual start point is in the village of Loud, which is just south of the Norfolk border in Suffolk. The route's going to be heading north towards Great Yarmouth before then veering northwest up to the North Norfolk coast to the wards, the village of Stiffkey, pronounced Stukey here in Norfolk. Then from there it's going to be heading south west about Norwich down towards the town of Windsor before heading easterly back towards the start point at the village of Lound. Now along the route of the Audax there's going to be a number of control or checkpoints. They're normally every sort of 30 to 40 kilometers and at each of these checkpoints you either have to get a receipt from a shop to prove that you're at that location at that time or you have to get some other sort of information perhaps from a street sign and then write your own time. Now all of this information is stored and written on your Audax brevet card and then at the end of the ride you have that verified by the event organizer. So I'm really looking forward to it. The weather forecast looks fantastic. Let's get on with it. Taking place on the last weekend in May, it was an early, and due to COVID restrictions, a staggered start. But it was a chance to meet up with old friends and new. Group hug! Oh, I've wanted to do that for years, David. Registration was a self-service affair at the Village Hall in Lound, just south of the border in Suffolk, where I picked up my Brevet card. Yeah, this that's, one. That's the one, mate. Yeah, yeah, take as many as you want. We rolled out at 7.30 at dangerously slow speed. Cheers. To work there. That's me on the that's me on the wall. There. I was just trying to point out the helicopter photograph on the wall of the old heliport. They just don't appreciate it. But unfortunately the others had no idea what I was talking about. The banter started from the off and it was thick and fast. Jokes abound and morale was clearly high as we reached the first checkpoint. <laughs> Need to make brevet cards slightly smaller to fit in these bags. <laughs> That's the first checkpoint ticked off on this lovely ride through Norfolk. This is the village of Runham. The problem we're trying to film an event like this is I have to keep catching up with them. Slow down, guys. Yeah. 
run. And, uh, and it also doubles up on a nice like fairy to be to find like that. Awesome. First casualty of the day, Dave's got a puncture. I just pulled over here by I think it's called the Bridge Inn. It's at Acle. It's me again, it's always me. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> I feel like you a didn't bit. need to, it's in your eyes. How's it going then, uh, James? You're right. Yeah, yeah. Enjoying it? Yeah, nice to have a kind of unenforced yeah, break. Yeah. <laughs> Decent pace, isn't it? I don't know what the average is, but uh, oh, it's going all right, aren't we? Yes, yeah. very pleasant. I'm sure I saw yeah. something on GCN that said the worst things to eat on a bike ride, and he had a bloke eating a packet of crisps. Yeah, probably. But if it feels good for me, then I'm going to eat it. <laughs> to I want to catch it, I want to get it on film. What, my, no, not my, while you're riding. <laughs> <laughs> that is a crisp makes them bad. What else should I have then instead? Just have like a cow salt lick, like a little block that I can just have. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's what you need, you need a proper root canal. That nah, is old school, electric. but also <laughs> very sensible. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 another one at Bristol. Yeah. Yeah. And then another yeah. food stop in 96. Yeah. Where's that one? Oh, oh that's um, Wyndham, isn't it? <laughs> huh? After Dave replaced his inner tube in a double quick time, we were off again, heading into Acle towards Coltishaw for the second control point. The control at Coltishaw required a receipt, so an opportunity to nip into the corner shop, but not before noticing the village blacksmith's yard the help of which is allowed in all ducks rules if bike repairs are required. For example, welding of a frame. But with more titanium and carbon on show than steel bikes, it was a service we wouldn't be needing. Having taken the mickey out of Tom for his crisps, it was somewhat ironic that most of us purchased some kind of salty snack. For me, it was mini cheddars and a Lucasade energy drink. Suitably replenished, with warm clothing removed, we were ready to set off for the next long section of riding. Adult warning, unpleasant scenes, please turn away now. Coordinated peeing. What is this, herd instinct or something? Sorry about that folks. Having had our comfort break, we did then settle down for the ride up to Holt Country Park, passing first Blickling Hall. We picked up a fellow Audax rider, Mark, who we were very happy to have along for the company. Me 
after my storming attempt to overtake on a hill, I punctured. It's always nice to have a couple of riding companions alongside you when you do puncture or have a mechanical. And on this occasion it was no exception. And while I tried my best to speedily change my inner tube, I had to absorb the torrent of verbal abuse from my fellow riders. The sun climbed and so did the temperature, recording the hottest day of the year so far. Stifki, pronounced Stuki, is a beautiful old village on the North Norfolk coast and was the furthest point north on our route. The village is also alleged to consist entirely of second homes for wealthy Londoners. Are we Dave? We're in Stoddy, Stoddy Woods. Stoddy. Yeah. Stoddy Woods. Uh -huh. for my pleasures condoms in there as well for later on. <laughs> <laughs> Remember it's my pleasure. Oh, oh look at mine. That, that is... That. We'll see all that, that later. All that standard. That is awesome. You can down that in one, can't you? Like this? Yeah, you've got... <laughs> Never mind the gels and energy bars. <laughs> well, it's normally... He's used to eating a big sausage, hasn't he? It's all about like fluids, yeah. Keep yourself hydrated and nosh. So the good news is we've picked Michael up. He's joined us. How you doing, Michael? Doing good. Yeah, feeling strong. <laughs> good man. <laughs> He must be feeling strong. He's cycled by himself and he's joined our group, so he's doing well. He's doing well. We 
we've stopped at Wyndham. We're about three quarters of the way, about 155 kilometers into it. We're all dying for a bit of caffeine. The heat is getting to us a little bit. We're not used to this great shining thing in the sky. <laughs> Fantastic. We're all enjoying it though. Being in a different position, that's the bite. Still sitting down. Yeah, I don't care. Pick up your legs. It's actually nice to be in the shade, isn't it? Yeah, actually. I haven't thought of that. Friends, countrymen, lend me your ears. Technical problem. I can't get back on it. There you go. And, uh, how, James, how are you feeling? He's still got him looking at his watch. Ask me at the end. All good, all armbrew now, so all good. Oh, the old armbrew is through. Who are you Feet are going to be famous. Oh, nice. <laughs> These are the latest GCN socks. I can't remember that was. I wasn't a member there. Leaving Wyndham in an easterly direction, we confronted a stock headwind. We were already fatiguing and starting to feel the impact of a long ride in the heat. All of us, that is, except John, who decided to put us to the sword. It's understandable though, because John is not human. He mostly consists of bike parts with a massive heart of an engine. He went to the front like Mother Duck, while the rest of us tried our best to follow him. Unfortunately, we dropped two riders, James and Mark. Joking apart, thanks very much to John for his incredibly strong effort on the front and allowing us to be towed in his draft. Final push. We've got about the last 10 k's. Just after St Olaf's Bridge, it was nice to be joined by fellow Audax rider Steve, who rode with us to the end. Nice to see Steve joining us. That's me. All right, hard for me. <laughs> At the end in sight, there was a surge of energy and I decided to chase down John and Michael. Michael, who had managed to stay with John to the bitter end.
Oh, well done. Right, right. Oh mate, where'd you find your legs? I don't know what happened there. Awesome. The Russia blood. Hey. Well done, fellas. <laughs> that last 10 k's was a bit hard. Wow, what a fantastic day out. And here's a summary of the ride. A total distance of 208 kilometers with an elevation gain of 1,268 meters, which is quite surprising because most people think of Norfolk as a flat county. The average speed was 27.7 kilometers per hour, but that's taken over the moving time of seven hours 29. The elapsed time was more like nine hours 15, so that reduced the overall speed, but well within the permissible limits between 15 and 30 kilometers per hour, which is the Audax specified range. So Michael, what was it like? Uh, it was very, uh, it was a good challenge for me. Uh, I don't think I could have gone much further, but uh, I, uh, I, but timed, I timed my energy to just about right. You did, didn't to you? Finish strong, yeah. Yeah, you did, mate. Yeah. Well done. Good effort. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks. Honest opinion. One sentence. What was it like? Uh, very enjoyable. Yeah, it's just a nice route. Yeah. Great weather. Great company. Couldn't ask for a better day out, really. Excellent. Cheers. <laughs> Good effort. Yeah, and you. Excellent, mate. Oh, I feel, feel pretty tired now. <laughs> Yeah, that was hard work. A continual like, day of shoving food in my mouth. Well, that's normal, isn't it, for you? Yeah, it is. But <laughs> jelly babies at the end. Yeah, John really dragged us through that last bit. John did a good just job. But, mate, you did a good job, because like, just before that section, you were right up there with him. I was just looking at his tyre, <laughs> turning the pedals, looking at his cogs. How many audits have you done? Three. Oh, right. Not many. Oh, you're a, no, you're a veteran. <laughs> a grand total of three. <laughs> <laughs> cool. That yeah, was good. Nice one, thanks. Well, that's it, folks. Thanks ever so much for watching this video. And until the next time, happy riding.